got called here. Got called. The beavers are causing a ruckus. I, this is the same spot I trap every spring and fall. Got a beaver swimming there. We'll go up here. They just moved in and they cleaned a bunch of trees up there. I'll show you all that. The landowner called and said, hey, beavers moved in again. You can see that it's not too timid. Just uh, probably a two-year-old. She said there was three here. Uh, two were on the bank over here and one was swimming. Over here, we got a new dam that wasn't there. Well, that used to be there like six years ago. And then I wiped them out for a long time. And then they quit making it and they're just working further down. So what we're going to do, this is a, a run, but it's half froze. So they're not coming out of here. Well, they are kind of, as you can see, it's all wet. So they're sliding down there and then they're traveling down. So we'll put a trap right underneath these st sticks here. And then we'll have that one as a bait. And then we'll probably put another one over here tonight just to catch one. I'm coming to check the other one out. There's a perfect little spot on land there, but the people have dogs, so I don't want to put it there where it ducks underneath that log up there. And that's right where they're going up to do all the cuttings. So we won't do that one. We're going to keep the trap in the water just to be a little bit safer. I don't see any other runs going up over this way here. So. We're gonna leave the dam for now. Catch them on their their runs and see how we make out. So you can tell it's just a young one. See where it shows up. I think it's coming back this way. We got a 50-50 chance. Like by your leg. Okay, yeah. we'll make this set up. Maybe we'll go for a walk over by the house there and see what else is going on. So we made the one set there. The beaver's watching us. This is where we were trapping them before. Just up behind the the shed there hard for you to see and uh so they quit building the dam there they move further down where i showed you the water is nice and slow and it looks like they moved into this old beaver house so like i said this hasn't been active for a long time oh here comes a dog Check things out. But uh, what we got here is kind of an old run. We're going to check and see how deep it is. And uh, it's right by the house so we could put a lure stick in. And yeah, the dog's kind of messing us up here. We'll uh, carry on and figure something out with this dog here. Okay, catch you at the next set. All right, the dog left there. Blake and I made a little little uh, bait stick here and then lured him. They're gonna go in this little bank den entrance and uh, smell the lure, get caught. So should have a beaver there, we're hoping. And the beaver came out, check this out, and he is right here, he's got his ripples underneath, he's probably going to pop up. Anyways, we'll show you the other set, we thought maybe we'd have him in there while we're making this one, but not lucky enough, not yet anyways.
this creek system used to be really deep like the high water mark is up here and this used to be just sticking on the water years and years ago so you always have to be careful in this tall grass and old runs and stumps and Whoa. And rotten logs don't step on. And this is the other set here. Again, we got the little stick with the caster lure on there, and the trap just barely sticking underwater. And we know they're traveling this already to get uh, to the food up here. Let's go check that out. So they moved in they cut this tree down this year. And then the landowner said they've been causing all kinds of grief. So they're taking all their little trees along the creek down. All the way along the edge here. So we'll get rid of the beavers. Said there's one really big one. And then two smaller ones. So we'll see what that's all about. I guess the person that owned this place before used to live trap them in here somehow. and then transport them somewhere. But this has been here so long now, the tree is growing into it. This was just a trap door. Not sure what they baited it with that big tree, I guess. And it worked. Another beaver set spot here. Blake says he might come tomorrow night and sit and shoot. But anyways, we'll catch you guys in the next set. Back out here at the beaver set. Um, it's after school. It's just me. Got the trapping bag and Got a gun this time. Maybe we'll get a crack at one. The open. Our first trap is right here. It looks like it is set off. Maybe. It's tricky to tell from that. got a small beaver. He was up here pushing up some sticks. But yeah, just a nice little beaver. I'm gonna dump the gun and the bag and I'll pull him out and I'll turn you guys back on. Okay, I'm just gonna climb down here and pull this guy out. Oh no, he's just a little beaver. Yeah, 
Not the biggest beaver. He's the one we seen swimming around yesterday, I think. So I got him here. I think I'll leave him in the trap for a minute. I'll grab the gun, walk over the other one and check it. And if I have something there, I'll come back and I'll deal with that one. All right, see you in a bit. Guys, I just got over here the second one and I looked up. I see a good sized beaver right in here. Trap got him good. Came in right to our scent stick just in there. So I'm gonna call him out here in a sec and I'll turn you guys back on. But he looks like a pretty good beaver. And just as we're here, I'd show you now. So we have it tied off to the trap, and then we have it here, and it comes to another one, an extension that goes up to tree over here. These little ones are for our underwater sets in the winter. You suspend it under the ice, and that's what that cable is for. But it also works as an extended anchor. All right, catch you in a second. Okay, this is a big beaver now. It's kind of hard to find through perspective. My boot is a size 12. I'm not even even with his nose. And it's about three of my feet long. Look at that tail. He's the guy we seen last night, I believe. But yeah, he's been there a while. He's been since last night. So I'm going to we'll probably walk back over and I'll take him out and then I will come back over here with the trap and I'll reset it. That's a big beaver. He weighs a ton. I'll say that. It's hard to get him out. Okay, I got this one reset. I got the lure stick out again trap in here. Now I just have to hike fall around the corner. That clump of trees right here. That's right where the other one is with the big beaver. Then I'll drag him out and I got a wheelbarrow from the homeowner to help me get it out. So yeah, grab that one and I'll carry on. Okay, I got number two done. It's set. Let's go drag this guy up to the wheelbarrow and then it's home free. But yeah, this one I got the same type of setup. I got it. Trap set in the water. And the eight six right there. And yeah. He'll come in this little canal and snap and then I'll have to carry him out later. But yeah, catch you guys later. Thank you for watching, Northern Trapper. Back out here at the spot again, checking our beaver set. Right now it's probably 11.50, I got off class a bit early. This is our first trap. You see, we got us a little beaver in there. It's hard to see. So I got him. I'm going to walk over the other one and check it and see. I just about didn't bring the bag because I didn't think I was going to have any. But I got these two following me. This is Pablo and no clue who this one is. Hey! No. They're French dogs, so they don't understand English too good. Yeah. I'll just walk back up and grab my gun because I'm pretty sure I just seen a beaver right there. Alright, catch you in a bit. Okay, I'm over here at the second one. It ended up not being a beaver that I've seen. It was just a big bug. Flew across. This is our second one. Looks like a beaver did come up. 
make a small pile one above there too but nothing in our set or bait sticks right back there still so i'll back out of this one go pull the other one out and reset it luckily it's just a little beaver so it won't be that hard okay see you in a bit well this one i pulled him out wasn't as small as i thought bigger beaver pablo up here come Hey, Pablo. Get here, Pablo. Come. Hey, psh. don't eat my beaver. He's a young dog. Just about two of them. Then I caught this one. He's bigger, he's a medium. I caught a big, a small, and this is the medium. Hey, psh. go. So I'll probably pull this guy out of here. I'll reset. Yeah, there I got it reset. It took a bit longer than I hoped. The guy's dog tried to fight me for the beaver. He was growling at me every time I'd get near it. And so I got the homeowner come and get his dog. And then got it, but got into the beaver bit. Yeah, I'll reset. Got a bait stick again. Should be good. Hopefully, we catch another one soon. Nice, beautiful day. A little bit of rain. Right here, the beaver's making a little, a little caster mound. And Wemmel. This is check number three. Yeah, this is the third check. Yeah, so then third beaver out of this one. Third beaver out of this one. Looks like it was coming down from over there. Got caught going that way. We'll pull it out here in a minute and remake it. Let's go check out this other one. See what we got over here. So we walked across there 50 yards to the point. And this beaver here is marking this territory because we use that other beaver lure here so it smells like a, a beaver's here so they're territorial made a bit of a caster mound there and right there's the lure stick tucked in the corner and the two-year-old beaver so we had a couple kits, this two-year-old, and the other one's about a two-year-old too, it looks like. And we had the one big adult, which turned out to be a male, pretty sure. And we'll see if uh, maybe there's a female kicking around. Right, Blake? Yeah. Blake's yeah. the master beaver trapper. Yeah. A little bit of a drizzle, but still a nice day. Oh, don't go for a swim. Oh, there's a big spider on him. Okay, forgot to take a little video. So came back. So our lure sticks back there in the corner. Right beside that old one, there's a new one with a bit more fresh lure. Traps there. And uh, got the triggers under the water. Beaver's gonna swim up, get caught. Might come here, try and make a little scent. Uh, caster mound but we're slowly catching up to these beavers here then i'm gonna out got blake over there he's 
redoing the other one and we'll be out of here for another day just playing around with two traps he got uh, a beaver yesterday took some video and then two today maybe one or two tomorrow and then we'll pull out of here for a bit all right see you in a sec here Don't forget the safety, eh? Yep, don't forget it. There you go. Two beavers, small one, bigger one, and uh, you gotta pack it up the hill there and a couple hundred yards to the truck. We'll uh, see what tomorrow brings, and then after that, we might just pull. Catch you the next set. Hey, what are you doing? Well, what we're doing is just checking out sets here. Went to the first one, there was nothing there. That's where we caught a bunch of kits. But then here, I think we caught ourselves the male or female. I think the other one was a male. And this is probably the female here. We'll check for her nipples. But that's where our lure stick was. Got knocked over. And this should be the last one here at this uh, spot. We'll pull everything now and then just let them tell us if anything else shows up. All right, Balaki. Yep. There you go. We'll leave the dam too. I won't bust it. Maybe we'll come back later and see. I like to hold a little bit of water in the area. Looks nice. But uh, we'll pull this one out and pull everything out for the day. Call her good. We just moved the beaver there. Messed up my H frame. Blake's going to have to tune it up. So it looks like it's, uh, it's a big one there. Oh, sorry. Can't tell. I don't think it's a female, no nipples anyways. But uh, yeah, decent sized one. Not as big as the first one. But we'll uh, maybe weigh it up later. Take a look. It's probably a 40 pound beaver. All right, there we go.